New tonight, a young boy attacked by a wild predator. This six-year-old left with bruises and scars when alligator clenched its jaws. Now, to new tonight, he's sharing his frightening story. Team 6 reporter Gilma Avalos is live in Pompano Beach to explain how that boy ended up in the gator's mouth and how he got away. Gilma. Well, Trina, as we speak, eight-year-old Joey is playing indoors, but over the weekend, he was simply trying to enjoy the great outdoors with his father. He loves animals, but never expected to come this close to nature, just narrowly escaping the jaws of an eight-foot-long gator. Until Friday, little Joey Welsh had never met an animal he didn't like. And there's some parrots that are black and yellow and they don't talk. That is, until he came dangerously close to this eight-foot-long alligator at the Loxahatchee Nature National Wildlife Refuge in Boynton Beach. The alligator came swimming to me and he, all, I couldn't get out, so I was like... The tears on his bathing suit show just how sharp the gator's teeth were. The cuts and bruises on his body reveal what a close call it was. This gives an indication of the width of the alligator's mouth because he has them here and he has them here. I was crying when they got out. Dad and Joey were supposed to get pretty close to the gators during a canoe ride, but not this close. As Joseph was paying to rent one of the canoes, his son ran down the hill, captivated by the snake grass near the water. And immediately after hearing the splash, I heard him scream. So I think that the gator was probably very close by and it latched onto his, his right arm. While we all know you never want to get between an animal and its young, Joseph proved he would do anything to guard his child, including punching the gator, his hand still swollen. As hard as I could, I was banging on the head of this alligator, but it was it was as if I was hitting a brick. A bystander started kicking the animal in its underbelly until it finally released little Joey's arm. Instincts take over, I guess. You don't even really hesitate. <laughs> After a scare, a visit to Holy Cross Hospital in Fort Lauderdale. I'm good. This brave little boy is doing just fine. A snake. <laughs> His tail. There's now only one reptile he doesn't like. I'm never going to an alligator place. We're going back to the rivers and the ocean. Now, trappers were able to put down the eight-foot-long alligator. It's so important to keep in mind you have to be very careful around these animals. They do have a natural fear of humans, but keep in mind that animals off the leash and even small children can be particularly vulnerable because they're so close in size to their natural prey. The good news here, though, Joey's parents tell me they're the ones who have been having the nightmares. Joey is sleeping just fine. Live in Pompano Beach, Gilma Avalos, NBC6 South Florida. We're happy Joey is doing just fine. Thank you.